What is up everybody? Today is a new beautiful day. We have wind in the air. Actually, quite, it's quite breezy actually. Today we got special guests here. Uh, Sochi, so, uh, this is Sochi guys. Say hello Sochi. Okay, all right, cool. All right, anyway, uh, today I'm gonna be doing a special video. Actually, I'm gonna be going out and, is that lens dirty? Lens is always dirty. I'm gonna be going out and throwing Billy Skinner's new uh, bait. This is a new bait he made. It's been out for a little while actually. I just haven't gotten around to skipping it. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to rig it. And then I'm gonna show you guys, or I might make two separate videos on how to rig it uh, and then how to actually physically use it. So I'm gonna do how to rig and how to use. Same thing, you skip it like the cheater and you bring back in big fish. Without further ado, I got the boat hooked up. You can see that. I'm in my new truck to you guys. New truck for you guys. Um, and I got the boat back too as well. Today's gonna be an awesome day, guys. We got little buddy Soch over here. She's gonna be netting all my fish. So we're gonna take this bait, folks. We're gonna put it on an eight out owner beast hook. We're gonna get to skipping it. And we're gonna pull out some piggins. The bluegill are bedding, so that's key. That's key. That's why I'm going out and throwing this, because the bluegill are bedding. And those bass are munching. Without, you know, blabbering anymore, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna go catch some piggins, guys, and we're gonna have an awesome day. Stay tuned, and today begins now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the beautiful Betty's Kitchen. I'm going to rig up, I'm going to rig up my bait, my little cheater net. It's called the, the name of this bait is not the cheater bluegill, it's called the, the net gill, or gill net. My bad, gill net. <laughs> I would not say it's four inches, I want to say it's like roughly four inches. It's like little snack size. It's like with the ADOT owner beast hook weighted, I think it's a three fourths ounce weight. I had somebody ask me that. The weight doesn't even really matter. Just swim it back faster. The color of this one, I don't really know, but if you can see that tint to it, it has like a, like a blue tint. That's the just. I'm gonna get the GoPro on my chest, Sochi on the boat, and we're gonna go that way or that way. I think that way to go fish for some piggins, bro. That's it, that's it guys, I'm gonna slap you guys on the chesty. Let's catch some piggins, boys and girls. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you rig this bait. So this bait has a slit at the bottom, like that, and it has a slit on the top of it like that, where you expose your hook. You take this owner beast hook right here in the screw lock, and you go straight into the bait like this, like so. And then this is how it's gonna sit like this, okay? So then you split this open. And all you do is you line the hook up right in here. And you just push it up. Just like that. You don't you don't you don't bend the hook all weird and everything. You literally just slide it up. So your hook will start to expose right right in there. You just slide it just like that. You open the flap up right here. Pretty much it hugs it just like that. The weight is in between right there, and then you got your hook right here. It just sits tucked in right there, weedless pretty much. Then I'll have an underwater video on this too. But your bait sits like this on a blue on a on a bed. This is a real good bed fishing bait. I didn't get to use it this year because bed fishing here is weird. You gotta hit it on the perfect day. Oh and the, the biggest key to this is again the pizza sauce. Alright, there's a bunch of bass fry everywhere. Now this thing skips pretty darn good, I'm not gonna lie. Like really good, like in fact I think it skips better than the cheater. Just because it has that shape of, you know when you skip a rock, it's a nice flat rock you usually want to skip. It has that shape. Oh, 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 that's crazy. I didn't let him eat it, but he, that was a big fish. Oh yeah, that was insane. He literally came out from all of that stuff, followed my bait, hit the tail, and I, I set the hook way too early. I got hook set happy right there. You don't even have to skip this bait, you can just throw it. Oh my gosh, I just seen that fish right there. Get in the boat, baby. That's a seven pounder, dog. That was insane, that was insane. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I've been throwing this bait for about 30 minutes now. 
and uh, there was this tree right here, this little lay down, and I was pretty close to it. I didn't think I was gonna catch anything. Just get my bait under there twice. The third time, put it right in there, and I seen this dark shadow coming out from this way. And I was like, oh, that's a big fish. So I let the bluegill sink to the bottom, and the bluegill stood up like this, just the way it's supposed to. And it just stood up like that, and the fish went all the way, regardless, they didn't even give a crap about me, just floating right here, right by them. And I felt the little tick, so I went boom, I set the hook, and out comes Big Bertha right here, guys. This is at least a six pound fish, no doubt, on this bluegill uh, swim bait by Billy Skinner. That's a six pounder, baby. That's a six pounder. I'm super stoked right now, actually. I'll play you in the, in the well. That's why you throw this bait right here. In freaking sane. I can't believe that just happened. I'm shaking right now. I knew I was gonna get one, I just didn't know when. A lot of people come out here expecting to catch fish like instantly right off the bat. And granted, you can, like it's, you will. Every now and then. I'm not gonna say it's every single time. I've been out here for 45 minutes until I got my first, first actual like bite. I got two other little bites and that just kept me going, motivated. A lot of people pick up this bait or the cheater as well and they go out, they'll skip it and they won't catch anything. It's like, that's fishing. That's the name of the game. You go out and you try to catch fish, okay? So it's, it's not gonna happen right away. You gotta be patient. So if you pick up a bait like this, learn the niches. There's gonna be bad things with the bait that you're not gonna like. Learn to adapt, learn to, learn to find new ways to, to just cope with it. And then, and then that'll happen. You'll catch fish about that size. If you're patient enough, it's like with any other bait. You just gotta give it a chance. And then once you do happen to catch one, you'll build enough confidence in it to just throw it over and over again. And then you'll realize, oh, this bait really does work. It's really crazy. It's the power of the mind. It's all mental. It really is all mental. That was my first fish ever on this bait. First fish ever. That's insane. All right, guys, I'm tapping out, actually. I, can't, I just can't, I don't feel good. I just started feeling really bad. Um, I'm really dehydrated. I forgot to bring water. Uh, yeah, I just don't, like, I'm just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I've been out here for li literally a little over an hour. So I'm gonna go load up. I'm gonna get a weight on this fish, and then I'm just gonna let it go and then get the heck out of here. I don't have energy right now at all. Yeah, that's it, guys, so. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Remember, bring water, especially if you're in Arizona. Yeah, I just don't feel good. Um, yeah, guys, all right, later. Before I start overthinking here. All right, later, dudes. That's it, peace, homies. Have fun, have a great weekend. Don't drink and drive.